Hi everyone, Bob here. Welcome to my channel where I make how-to videos from Mac tips, backend, Swift, Salesforce, and game development. Finally, the latest version of Unreal Engine 5.2 for Apple Silicon has been pretty stable and learning Unreal Engine 5 has been enjoyable. So now it's time to share what I've learned so far. I wanted to share this video on how to make a side scroller template on Unreal Engine. Let's go. All right, so this is the example side scroller template that we're going to learn how to build. So as you can see, the character could move to the right, the character could move to the left, but it couldn't move up or down and anything on its way um, um, is blocking it and needs to um, show it. And item in front of it would hide the character under it. So let's learn how to build this side scroller template. I'm going to open up Epic Games Launcher and launch. So on the Unreal Project browser, go under games and select the third person uh, template and make sure you have the starter content check and then name your project. For this one, I'm just going to call it side scroll and hit create. Nice. So on the default third person template, we don't need uh, a lot of this stuff. So I'm going to go ahead and delete them to clear it up. So on the outliner here, I'm going to select the block 01 up to here. Hit delete. Same with the cube. Same with the block 03. For some reason, you can't delete the folder along with it. Uh, cylinder, I'm also going to delete that, delete, and under the playground, which is this one, I need just that uh, left uh, wall, I don't need this right wall, I don't need this side as well, and I don't need that, and I don't need this ramp or this text render. Cool. So uh, I need the floor though. So for the floor, under the scale here for the y-axis, I'm just gonna set it to eight. And for my character here, I'm gonna move it to 500 and move it a little bit back there. So when I hit play, just to preview, this is how it looks like. The character could still freely look around with the camera and move left to the right and all of that so let's go ahead and fix that so under the content drawer go under the third person and select blueprints and select the BP third person character let's snap it here um, so first off let's go fix the angle of the camera so Go under the component section here, under the camera boom. We need to rotate this camera boom or this selfie stick and make sure that it's looking at the character in this direction. So to do that, uh, you need to set the rotation on the Z axis. So if I put negative 90 here, you would see that it didn't change uh, the position of the camera boom. That's because the inherit yaw here is checked. So go ahead and uncheck that. And that should uh, position the camera boom where you like it. Um, other item that I want to change here is the angle, is the arm length, the target arm length. So this is how far the camera is to your character. So go ahead and do that and hit save. And let's do a quick preview here. Now we can see the character is um our camera view is looking right but the character and the position of the keys are off so my up is going left my d is going uh, down so let's go back and fix that so to fix that uh, you need to go to the event graph so under the event graph there's some uh, um, actions here that were defined uh, from this blueprint, we have the camera input, and there's a movement input, and there's also jump. So these are the event associated with those um, actions. So we don't need the camera input in this case. So go ahead, delete that. And 
for the movement input we don't need um, we actually could use the get forward vector here and replace the get right vector here for the left and right so what you could do is you could disconnect this pin disconnect that pin grab this disconnect this disconnect that disconnect that I'm disconnecting it using uh, option key on my Mac so put that there and wire it up so the return Z axis I still need that and the return value I'm gonna set it on the world direction there so go ahead delete the rest of the items here and clean that up and that should fix our problem so go ahead compile save preview when now when I hit the D key my character is moving forward when I hit the A key my character is uh, going back so W and S doesn't work so there you go um, next thing we want to tweak is few some few more settings here so particularly the um, the movement of the character so let's go under movement here there you go under movement here and select the jump I want my character to jump a little bit higher so I'm going to change that to 1000 I'm also going to change the gravity so this is the um, drop of the character how fast it would drop so I'm going to change that to 2.5 and then uh, on the uh, lag for the camera boom I'm gonna say search for lag and I'm just gonna enable lag here then compile save and cool so pretty much that should be the setup but there's a few more tweaks that we could do to make your life kind of easier so if I add some uh, shapes or actors in the scene here you would see that I could like add them anywhere so if I add it here which I wanted to obstruct my player I need to like make sure it's in the right position so that it would block my player so the player would need to go over it so um, what you could do there is actually go to project settings and go under uh, editor and then go under 2d here and then enable snap layers so once you enable that um, you could go under this sections here and expand this so there's three items here there's the foreground the default and the background so if I just quickly go back here um, my player character that I position here is on the Y um, 500 coordinate so I'm just gonna copy that so my for my default I want anything that I put that snaps to the 500 default and for the foreground anything in front of the character I'm gonna say 700 and anything on back of the character I'm gonna say 200 and then go back here so what that allowed me to do is when now when I put a shape for example this cube uh, so this is the foreground sorry so I need to select the snapping here and set it to default and now when I put the cube it should put the cube directly in front of the 500 location on um, the Y axis so I could clone this do the same or I could add another shape let's try a cylinder this time and it's going to be on the same Y axis as you can see there so pretty handy um, next let's try the foreground so if I want to put something in the foreground let's say let's go to our props and add a chair and add a few more here maybe this one let's rotate this 90 degrees and 
um, and I'm gonna go back to default and put some more cubes in here so the player could like jump around them cool there you go um, let's, let's preview it out so here you can see it's blocking the player player needs to jump there so you have um, a functioning side scroller so a few more adjustments I want to do actually is go back to my third character blueprint go under movement here and put some constraint so the constraint uh, here is to enable this constraint to plane so this and then for the y-axis put a value of one so this um, would prevent your character from sliding a little bit forward or backward when they're uh, going over some obstacles here so they won't be able to move to the y-axis at all so let's give that a try cool so pretty much working as expected so this could be your starter um, side scroller project for your uh, game so hope you like this tutorial thumbs up thumbs down please subscribe to my youtube channel cheers bye for now